What's going on you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch and it's great to have you back. So one thing I've never actually done on this channel before has been gaming. Now I've been a huge video game fan ever since I got my first Nintendo when I was like five. From there, I moved on to PC gaming, playing games like Wolfenstein 3D in the first versions of the first person shooters, and then I moved on to adventure games such as the LucasArts ones. I absolutely love the Monkey Island series, Day of the Tentacle, Full Throttle, uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road, all those games are absolutely awesome. So growing up in DOS, I got a ton of experience in a command line environment, so when this game popped up, I thought it would be a perfect match. Now this game came out a while ago, I think it's from like 2015, but it's only $1.49 on Steam and it's worth absolutely every penny. So what's the game? Well, it's called Hacknet. And basically what you do is you use a command line style environment to navigate your way through servers and hack into stuff. It's really freaking cool. Now on the surface, it seems like a really simple premise and a really simple game, but there's a lot more going on and some really cool stuff you can find out along the way. All right, so that's enough introduction. Let's play some games. All right, so here we are on Steam. This is the Hacknet page. You can see it used to be $9.99, and honestly, for that price, it would be absolutely worth it. But at $1.49, it's an absolute no-brainer. It was developed by Team Fractal Alligator, and it was published by Fellow Traveler. And you can see right here that the reviews for this game are overwhelmingly positive. It's a really fun game. If we check out the trailer here, you can kind of see a brief once over what the game looks like. But yeah, basically it's like you're in a computer and you're trying to hack into other computers using command line. You get hired for contracts and pulled into a whole bunch of cool stuff. It's an absolute blast. So let's get into the game. Let me show you what's going on. All right, so here is the game here. Uh, later on in the video, I'll actually show you where I'm at in it. For now, we're just gonna start a new session and we're going to go through the tutorial and kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So give myself a name and a password and confirm and let's get right into it. So basically the whole game is played inside this sandbox computer. So you can see right now, this is your computer loading up and booting right now. Now the computer that you're using to hack through these things is actually a Linux based PC. So you'll have to learn some Linux commands, which is always fun. It's super easy and intuitive. They kind of teach you all the steps along the way. That's why it's such a great game. And this is why I've had so much fun with it. It's been a very long time since I've actually run Linux. So, you know, they taught me all this stuff all over again. So I know how to navigate, rename files, connect to things. So they do a great job. It's an absolute blast. This is the main screen. And since we're in the tutorial, it's gonna kind of walk us through the first stuff we're gonna do real quick. Hit continue, and then it wants us to connect to our own computer, which is right down here. They already start off by giving you really good advice. So basically, once you're the administrator of the system, you wanna scan the network and see which computers are attached to it. So we found this other computer over here. So if we disconnect from our computer, now we can log into that one. Boom. So the first thing that you always do anytime you connect to a new computer is you're gonna run Probe. And Probe is gonna show you basically all of the uh, accessible ports. It shows that it's running a HTTP web server on port 80, FTP on port 21, SSH on 22, uh, mail server on 25. This is all kind of the ports that a lot of these servers typically run on. So the accuracy is really fun. Up here, we'll notice that the open ports required to crack the server is zero. So we don't actually have to try to crack any of these ports yet. So all we have to do is run port hack. So P-O-R-T-H-A-C-K. And it's gonna run this down here. It's got this cool animation. This is honestly what I wish hacking looked like all the time. Now that we've run port hack, we can see that now we are the administrator of this system. So we're in. Just like when we gained administrator access to our system, we're gonna just go ahead and run scan and see what computers are attached to it. Looks like nothing's attached to it. So let's go ahead and look into the file system and see what's going on in this computer. So they've actually made it so you can use commands like CD, log, and you can change folders this way, or they also let you click on stuff, which is kind of nice. That lets you move around a little bit easier. The tutorial is asking us to load up config.txt, which is, where is that? Here we go, in the bin folder. Open up config.txt and see what's inside. Nothing particularly useful in here, so um, it's telling us how to clean up our tracks. So what we're gonna do is go back, go into the log files right here, and we're gonna do rm, 
for remove star and star is just an asterisk or a wild card it's going to delete everything that's in the folder boom 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 it deletes everything and our tracks are gone we are invisible now that we're done on this computer we can just disconnect by typing dc and disconnect now that the tutorial is over it's actually kind of cool they want you to kill the process for the tutorial itself so if we enter in help we can see all of the commands that we have we can view our processes with ps and we can see that we've got a tutorial running on a PID 191. So now we're just going to kill the PID 191. There we go. We finished the tutorial. As you can see up here, we've got some mail. So you can open this and see your first contact. So the email server basically just tells you what you're doing next and you're communicating via email. So this one wants you to download the security tracer, which we're going to need later on. From here, all we have to do is connect back to our old computer. If we view the file system over in bin, there's our security tracer. As per the email that we just received, they want us to delete security tracer. So we're gonna use RM again, and then we can just start typing security tracer and press the tab button and it will uh, auto complete the rest of the word. Super easy, actually just learned this on PowerShell recently. Delete that, then we go back to the email, go to first contact, hit the reply button and send, boom. That's how you do your missions and that's how you complete stuff. It's really fun. We'll do one more and then I'll show you where I'm at. So getting some tools together. So this mission has you starting to gather some of the tools for your arsenal. So basically what we're gonna do is we can add the quick reference sheet, which will add it to the notes over here. And then let's link to the Viper paddle, uh, power station. Viper battle station. I don't know why that's so hard to say. So we'll click on here. We'll connect to that and we can get hacking. So we'll see what we can do. We're gonna run in, just do a straight up probe do this again we don't need any ports required to crack so we can just port hack again port hack and again i love the animations here they're so much fun i don't actually don't need any of this quick reference stuff we can close these but what's cool is this uh little bar over here is your total ram you can see it's right there as everything finishes and um like if i close this it's going to actually add to the total ram let's close this entirely so now I have more RAM, so I can run more attacks at the same time. It's actually really cool how they implement that. So now that we're the administrator of this, we can scan the network. Nothing really good there. It doesn't really matter for this. What we're trying to do is find some tools. So we can go into bin and there's SSH crack. So we want to run SCP, which is basically tells it to download the file. And we're going to download SSH crack. And yeah, that's all the mission wanted you to do. Hit reply and send. And we're done with that one too. Again, in the beginning, it's really easy, but these are kind of slow tutorials that walk you through how to do all the different processes. Let me hop into where I'm at with my game and you can kind of see where things have progressed to. So this is my screen. Uh, now I have a different UI. You kind of unlock things as you go along. So I have a new UI. I can actually change it a bunch of, uh, I can actually change it to a bunch of different ones as well. It's kind of a cool feature. So let's see if we can't get a contract and see what's going on. So go ahead and connect to the contract server right here. Log in with my credentials, contract listing, and let's grab this guy. Looks like it's a cleanup job to remove some false information on a hacker. So we're gonna accept this and open up our email and figure out what's involved. All right, so it looks like we're deleting a record. So let's uh, view what this record is over here and let's link to the server. So the server pops up down here. Cool, cool. And let's see what we can do inside here. So first of all, let's just look around. We're looking up Joseph Feldman. So let's see what information's here right now. Maybe, yep, dip, that's the wrong guy. Joseph. All right, so cool. Let's see what we can do inside here. Um, probe. All right, so this guy's got a firewall. So we're gonna use analyze to start cracking the final firewall. A-N-A-L-Y-Z-E. All right, cool. So we've got a timer running now too. So we need to go through and hack this entire system in about 96 seconds. Every time we run analyze, it's gonna basically replace some of these garbage characters with zeros. Once I only have a single character per row, that's gonna be our password. So here we go. Looks like this is it. So solve and it's A H S U N. I get so lost on these. Why? A, G. All right, cool. So now we need to work fast. We have to get through all these things. So we're gonna do a web server worm at 80, FTP, and we're gonna do 21 for the FTP bounce. And then we're gonna see if we can do our SQL, whoops, SQ, 
L. One. SQL memory corrupt, one, four, three, three. All right, and I just had enough memory to get that done. And with any luck, we'll get through all this so we can run port hack. Still got plenty of time. Unlocked. Now we can run port hack. And we're in. So we've got about 50 seconds left. Let's do an LS. Go to the database. Records. Running out of time. I'm gonna go to Feldman. Feldman, and that was uh, Joseph. Do, do, do. This guy right here. And let's just delete that. RM. D M A N underscore Joseph. Nope, I want Joseph. I'm so bad at this. Am I spelling it wrong? I'm always bad at spelling. Oh, it's F E L M A N. Whoops. L M A N. There we go. Delete that. And since we're dealing with important stuff here, make sure we clear our tracks. Running out of time. Do, do, do. And then once that's gone, we're going to DC real quick before they catch us. Did that work? Reply, send. Hey, so we did it. That was basically how the missions go later on in the game. It gives you some time frames to keep up with and you gotta kind of remember how everything works. It's just really fun, honestly. But yeah, that gives you a general idea of how this game works. It's really fun. It teaches you how to navigate file structures or file systems or whatever. You learn some great commands and, and it gives you kind of a feel for, you know, what actually kind of going through and, and hacking through different environments is like. Now, I'm not going to say that this game is going to teach you how to be a real hacker, but it really does show you some of the basic principles. When you're running port scan, it's kind of like running nmap. Running SSH crack or any of those other tools are kind of like using Metasploit. It's fun navigating between different systems, breaking through to different firewalls. There's a bunch of really cool stuff. It's really just fun in general. Is it realistic? I mean, not really, but it has a bunch of cool stuff. All of the different hacks and stuff have cool animations. It's just like watching the movie Hackers, but now you're playing it. It's only $1.50 on Steam. I mean, if you spend more than five minutes playing it or having any degree of enjoyment whatsoever, it's well worth $1.50. So yeah, that's Hacknet. Somebody dropped it on Discord, said it was a cool game. I gave it a try and I've been playing it ever since. Thanks for watching my first game review. I've been wanting to do one for a while, but this game really just caught me and it's a perfect fit for all the other stuff that we're doing in this channel. It's not exactly like hacking, but at the same time, Guitar Hero is not exactly like playing guitar, but that's a super fun game as well. If you have any suggestions on other games you want me to check out, leave a comment down below. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss out on a thing. You guys are the best. We'll catch you next time.